Continuing our coverage now, the lack of snow in Mount Shasta has been jarring for people who live in that area, and that's left the glaciers on the mountain vulnerable, and the heat this summer has led to several debris flows with likely more to come. Chief Meteorologist Matt Hoffman joins us now with more on the state of Mount Shasta's glaciers and what's ahead. Well, Brian, yeah, Mount Shasta is home to seven glaciers, and they are the largest in the state of California. A study back in 2008 showed that these glaciers were actually growing overcoming the world warming world due to increased snowfall thanks to a warmer Pacific Ocean and more moisture. But now scientists say this glacier anomaly has ended. Since then, uh, it's actually been you know, shrinking um, both in terms of like migrating farther up the mountain and then in terms of volume as well. Yeah, the glaciers are definitely shrinking and um, you know that statement is simply from just a basic photo comparison. The Shasta Trinity U.S. Forest Service says this shrinking has been most noticeable in recent years. We had just, you know, a couple of successive years of just we haven't gotten the snowpack that we've needed. And it seems like um, the period during the winter when we get these precipitation events, these, you know, big storms that bring in the snowpack, it's just the window's gotten shorter and shorter and we've had fewer and fewer storms within that window. The snowpack on the mountain helps to insulate the glaciers from the sun and the heat. Uh, right now, though, just about the entire south and west side of the mountain is, is totally bare, free of snow. So I've worked here 20 years. Uh, my mother-in-law has grew up, grown up here her whole life and she said that she's never seen it this bare. This extreme lack of snow has led to more melting of the glaciers and recent debris flows in Lahars. And with more future melting of the glaciers, more of these flows are likely along with impacts to hiking, fishing, and groundwater. Groundwater is really important to the, the upper Sacramento River, including the McLeod River, and then also the Shasta River, which feeds into the Klamath River. Nick Myers with the U.S. Forest Service says we need to see some healthy winters with a healthy snowpack to grow the glaciers, but it needs to happen year over year. We're kind of just maintaining at this point based on what I've seen over the past two decades. If we keep seeing conditions like this. If we keep have, having, you know, further years where we have, you know, drought more often than not, um, more stretches of like long periods of hot weather, um, you know, just, you know, everything is more intense. I mean, these are, these are all things that are continue, will continue to put pressure on the glaciers on Mount Shasta's. In the short term with more heat and now the threat for thunderstorms in the forecast, more debris flows on Mount Shasta are a big possibility. I'll have more details on those storm chances and when this heat wave will come to an end coming up.